Winter in Mongolia. It lasts for seven months each year. Minus 18 isn't cold. It's when it's minus 25 or minus 30 that it begins to feel cold. Mongolia faces huge ecological and economic challenges as it makes the transition from its communist past to a free market economy. It's in a race to protect its ecosystem and the traditional lifestyle while developing into a modern society. Ulaanbaatar is the coldest capital city in the world. But Mongolians moving into the city are likely to live in sprawling, polluted, unplanned slums. The Mongolian government is working with the international development agencies in an attempt to ensure a sustainable transition into the modern world. While the future remains uncertain, the debate is certainly warming up. The Urtu Mukhtar Valley lies to the west of the Mongolian capital. It takes its name from the Mounted Express mail station that the Great Khan set up here in the 13th century. Seven centuries later, the valley still has no road and no electricity, and Mongol herders live a traditional lifestyle, closely dependent on their animals and the land. Dorchma Tukchin and her family moved here in 1970. At 70 years old, Dorchma is the matriarch of the family and knows the valley well. This was the most beautiful place. Ours was the only gear. The grass was high and the water was clean. Dorchma and her family live in a traditional Mongolian gear arguably the most perfectly designed tent ever made. It's insulated with rolled wool, felt, a natural barrier against extreme cold. Mongolians heat their gears by burning wood and dried animal dung. It's not very efficient and has adverse consequences for the soil and water cycles. But when survival is an issue, ecological damage is not necessarily the first thing considered. Out here, you have to work hard and rely on yourself. You can't rely on others or just sit and wait for help. Each person determines how their life will be. Survival has become even more of an issue within the last decade as Mongolian herders like Dochma and her family have lived through increasing incidents of what Mongolians call Tzod. Tzod is a disaster, a climatic event of prolonged extreme cold, which some scientists put down to global climate change. Between 1999 and 2002, Mongolia lost more than 10 million animals, almost a third of its domestic herds, to the Tzod. For the traditional nomadic people of Mongolia, the Tzod threatens their way of life. And it comes at a time when increasing numbers, up to 5% of the population each year, are leaving the land and heading for the cities, particularly the capital, Ulaanbaatar. This demographic shift is fundamentally changing Mongolia. Formerly part of the Soviet bloc, Mongolia has been moving toward a free market economy since 1990. Central Ulaanbaatar is beginning to look like a modern metropolis. But for the rural migrants searching for a better life, home here is most often a gare in the growing chaotic shanty towns of the city. Although no one knows for sure, it's estimated that 60% of the capital's population live in the unplanned gare areas. So many people bringing their nomadic customs to the city is having a major impact on the environment. 
To try to regulate where the former nomads live, the government has enacted a new land privatization law and is trying to provide basic services to everyone. Tsagan Tsar is the Mongolian Lunar New Year. Shatar, following the custom of the season, is ceremonially taking the first steps of the new year for good. 